Even with the cray, to calculate pi out to something like 10 to the 20th place. And we don't know that what we're looking for is in pi. They sort of said it wasn't. It might be E. It might be one of the family of transcendental numbers they told Vege about. It might be some altogether different number. So a simple-minded brute force approach, just calculating fashionable transcendental numbers forever, is a waste of time. But here at Argus, we have very sophisticated decryption algorithms designed to find patterns in a signal, designed to pull out and display anything that looks non-random. So I rewrote the programs. From the expression on his face, she was afraid she had not been very clear. She made a small swerve in the monologue. But not to calculate the digits in a number like pi, print them out and present them for inspection. There isn't enough time for that. Instead... The program races through the digits in pi and pauses to think about it only when there's some anomalous sequence of zeros and ones, something non-random. Ten percent of the digits will be zeros and another ten percent will be ones, on average. The program knows what's expected statistically and only pays attention to unexpectedly long sequences of zeros and ones. And it doesn't only look in base ten. I don't understand. If you look at enough random numbers... Won't you get any pattern you want simply by chance? Sure, but you can calculate how likely that is. It's like the search for the message. In both cases, we're looking for a signal that's well out of the noise, something that can't be just a statistical fluke. If after a while we get a long sequence of just zeros and ones, well, maybe we could pull a picture out if there's one in there. It could be anything. You could decode a picture hiding in pi, and it would be uh, a mess of Hebrew letters? Uh, sure. He looked at her quizzically. Uh, forgive me, Eleanor, but don't you think you're being a mite too indirect? Why don't you just tell your story? Palmer, if I had hard evidence, I'd speak up. But if I don't have any, people like Kitts will say that I'm lying or hallucinating. Uh, that's why the manuscript's in your pocket. You're going to seal it Date it, notarize it, and put it in a safety deposit box. If anything happens to me, you can release it to the world. I give you full authority to do anything you want with it. And if nothing happens to you? Then, when we find what we're looking for, that manuscript will confirm our story. If we find evidence of a double black hole at the galactic center, or some huge artificial construction in Cygnus A, or a message hiding inside Pi, this... She tapped him on the chest. This will be my evidence. Then I'll speak out. In the meantime, don't lose it. Ellie, I, I still don't fully understand. We know there's a mathematical order to the universe, the law of gravity and all that. How is this different? So there's order inside the digits of pi? So what? No. Don't you see, this would be different. This isn't just starting the universe out with some precise mathematical laws that determine physics and chemistry. This is a message. Whoever makes the universe hides messages in transcendental numbers so they'll be read 15 billion years later when intelligent life finally evolves. You think God is a mathematician? Uh, something like that. If what we're told is true, if this isn't a wild goose chase... 
If there's a message hiding in pie, well, that's a lot of ifs. If you're looking for revelation in arithmetic, I know a better way. Palmer, this is the only way. This is the only thing that would convince a skeptic. Imagine we find something. It doesn't have to be tremendously complicated, just something more orderly than could accumulate by chance. That's all we need. Then mathematicians all over the world can find exactly the same pattern or message or whatever it proves to be. But no one could then argue that the key miracle in the religion is some conjurer's trick, or that later historians have falsified the record, or that it's just hysteria or delusion or a substitute parent for when we grow up. Everyone could be a believer.
The universe was made on purpose, the circle said. In whatever galaxy you happen to find yourself, you take the circumference of a circle, divide it by its diameter, measure closely enough, and uncover a miracle. Another circle. Drawn kilometers downstream of the decimal point. There would be richer messages further in. It doesn't matter what you look like, or what you're made of, or where you come from. As long as you live in this universe and have a modest talent for mathematics, sooner or later, you'll find it. It's already here. It's inside everything. You don't have to leave your planet to find it. In the fabric of space and in the nature of matter, as in a great work of art, there is, written small, the artist's signature. Standing over humans, gods and demons, Subsuming caretakers and tunnel builders, there is an intelligence that antedates the universe. The circle had closed. She had found what she had been searching for.